one in their right mind could ever possibly believe me. But what I'm about to tell you is true, 100% true. Freaky Friday is a show um, that's happy. And I thought doing a show that had great music and um, was a really happy show was a good choice for this year. I also had two um, incredibly talented senior girls and so I wanted a show that um, really supported them. And um, this was just a show that I felt like um, had a great message about love conquering pain and um, it would, was a great show for us to focus on for an entire year since since this um, year in the pandemic we were going to be spending a lot of time on one show and um, we felt like this was a good one to choose. I would say what motivates me the most would be our director, Julie Leggett. She is incredible at what she does, very creative, so talented and motivational and I would say that for me personally she pushes me in the best way possible and I really just want to make her proud every show that we do. Um, but for me personally, I uh, listen to music that I feel uh, best illustrates the character that I'm about to portray and that really just gets me in a good uh, headspace before I go on stage. In Freaky Friday, I play Catherine Blake, who is basically a cookie cutter mold mom. So she is perfect in every way. She has her life together. and. The way I got into that character is I really just took examples of my life. I picked out people that I knew that reminded me of Catherine Blake and I took their mannerisms and things that they would do and applied it to my lines and my acting. In Freaky Friday, I am the role of Adam. I'm Ellie Blake's love interest and really my way of getting into character would have to be just really making sure that I'm extremely energized. Uh, I would say energy is just such a vital part of making sure you're playing your character to the best of your ability. And so the more energized I feel, the more I feel I'm able to adjust and um, build off of other people around me. Hello, my name is Sierra Cousins and I played Miss Myers, the gym teacher at Freaky Friday. Um, so to get into my character, I watched a bunch of different high school productions of Freaky Friday and I watched the off-Broadway production. Um, to really decide how I wanted to play Miss Myers and how I wanted to make it my own. And I just decided to basically be mean. <laughs> so on stage, me and Avery, who's an amazing actress, we just play off of each other. And when the energy's going, it feels real. Like we're actually in that situation, actually in a gym. And we're all just in character the entire time. Mike was a really fun character to play because uh, he's, he's a good person. And he genuinely cares about Catherine, and he cares about Ellie. Really cares about Fletcher. Uh, their relationship's really, really uh, fun to explore, and it's just a really sweet relationship. Um, I kind of based Mike off of certain, I guess, Disney Channel dads that I watched growing up. But also making him mature and wise. In Freaky Friday, I played the character of Savannah, and the way I um, kind of got into my character was I did research on. Um, a bunch of different people who had played the character of Savannah and took inspiration from people and kind of put them into my own um, Savannah character. Freaky Friday was a, a lot of fun to direct musically. One of the things we learned right away was that uh, there were a lot of words in these songs and it was really important to get our handle on that up front and to make sure that the actors were able to employ good diction techniques and to make sure that they understood as well what their motivation was behind the lyrics of each song. So we worked on the blend and our ensemble sound and making sure we had the breath support and all of those typical music techniques. My job as a director is always to try to balance a lot of different things. I'm, I'm trying to balance um, the vocal, um, the vocal technique in the show. I'm trying to balance um, the acting technique. Uh, go for it. If it's too much, I'll tell you. But I would say just play the actress for a minute and just go for it. I'm trying to make sure that the visuals for the show look great, which include 
um, the set design and the costumes and the lighting projections in the case of this show. So trying to push all of those things and keep them balanced is um, part of what my job is and, and how I sort of work to try to strive to make the production um, the highest quality. Energy, you did a beautiful energized run through yesterday. Remember that, do not let that, do not let that drop. I just push on, on all of those different elements at different times and try to um, keep the growth in all of those different areas um, consistent and going forward. For Freaky Friday specifically, um, it really helps um, uh, convey that we're in a high school. Without the ensemble, we can't produce a show like that would captivate the audience. It, sure, we have the main characters, but we are all what make them um, tangible. We are what make them real. Um, the dancing, the singing, all of that it really helps draw in the audience and make uh, the show really wonderful. I mean, if we weren't there, half the songs would honestly be quite boring in my opinion. If you've ever listened to it, it kind of sounds empty. You need the chorus to like build upon the actors singing. As a stage manager, our goal is to show the crew what needs to get out, when it needs to get out, and how it needs to get out. A stage manager's job is to take responsibility for if something doesn't get out on time, even if it's not yours. A stage manager also has to deal with if props break on stage, how do we maintain it? How do we get it off stage? Do we go in a blackout? Do we go when it's light out? Our main job as a crew and as a stage manager is to never be seen. We always want to stay in the shadows. Well, it's interesting because we talked about time period. So we kind of settled on a time of around 2015. Um, which incidentally was perfect to go to Goodwill and find that because that was about the cycle where everybody was like taking their clothes to Goodwill. Um, so we, we used that time period and then um, as far as color, we did have to put some thought into a color palette and um, we chose to go with like golds and purples and pinks and greens rather than primary colors. Um, and that was sort of influenced because of the set and our ideas for lighting. So as dance captain, I work hand in hand with our choreographer on the creative side. Then girls go to the left and right. For creating the numbers and then also executing them by uh, going to rehearsals after the choreography has been taught and running those rehearsals um, and making sure everything looks perfect. So when we teach choreography, we break it into pieces, um, into small pieces that everybody can learn a little bit at a time, and then we combine the overall product in the end of the rehearsal. Combining all of the pieces and the elements of the numbers is crucial to the overall choreography and completing each number. Jump and turn up. We also have to take into account like cleaning numbers to make sure that everybody has their moves completely in sync and that everybody's hands look the same and that your feet are kicking on the right time, all that kind of thing. So um, just to make sure that everybody's completely in sync. Freaky Friday is a, is a show that has um, been around for a long time. It's a story I remember seeing as a young girl, going to the movie and seeing it. Um, and I think we sort of think about, from um, an artistic vision point, why does this story kind of resonate and why do we keep coming back to it over and over again? Um, as I'm a mom with three daughters, and I do think that there's something about the story more than just walking in someone else's shoes. It really is about the mother-daughter relationship and sort of how um, you kind of transverse that complex relationship between a mom and a daughter. Um, and the idea of sort of having roots and also wings that's all part of the Freaky Friday message. Good. Yeah, that was good. 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 That was good.